Benzene reacts with powerful electrophiles to replace a hydrogen, putting the electrophile on the ring. Now I'm going to say something that seems really obvious, but I want to make it clear for a reason. That electrophile can replace a hydrogen on any of those six carbons. Those carbon positions are all identical. And where we show the electrophile on the ring is totally arbitrary, completely up to us. Think about this with me. What's different if that benzene molecule already has a substituent on it? I put a methyl group there as an example. It's one of many possibilities. Now it becomes important for us to notice that there are two ortho positions, there are meta positions, and there's a para position. So when we write products, we have to take that into consideration. And now we have, well, look at the possibilities. I've shown the electrophile as substituting at the ortho position, the meta position, the para position. Wait a minute, you say there's only three but there are five different positions, and yes, but two of those are exactly what we've written already. There are two ortho substitution products, but they're identical, so we only write one. And the same thing is true with meta substitution. I wonder which actually happens. Reaction of an electrophile with a substituted benzene can lead to ortho substitution in the first step. Notice it's the first step that will determine the position of substitution. The second step is simply proton loss. And I'm going to write this intermediate like this. You know that there are three resonance structures. We'll get back to that. We can have meta substitution. We can have para substitution. Now I'm focusing on this first step because it's the first step that determines the position of substitution. And it's the relative rates of these three steps that determine the relative rates of ortho, meta, and para substitution. That tells us that if we can decide what determines the relative rates of the formation of these intermediates, we can understand the product ratios. And the relative rates will probably be determined by the stability of the intermediates we're forming. These are endothermic reactions, and Hammond's positive tells us we can expect that to be the case. Now, so now all we need to do is study the relative stabilities of these intermediates for ortho, meta, and para substitution to understand the product ratios. Remember, some substituents direct to the ortho and para positions. Other substituents direct to the meta position. Let's try to understand that by looking carefully at the intermediate. After all, it's the relative intermediate stabilities that we need to understand. I've drawn out the resonance structures for these intermediates so we can look at them carefully to see exactly where the positive charge is. And the important thing to notice is, is that for ortho substitution, one of the resonance structures has the positive charge on the carbon that the substituent is attached to. And that's also true for para substitution. While meta substitution never puts the positive charge on a carbon that bears a substituent. No matter what the characteristics of the substituent are, they have a smaller effect on the intermediate because the positive charge is never located on the carbon that the substituent is attached to. On the other hand, when the substituent is electron donating, it is especially stabilizing because it has a resonance structure that has the positive charge on the carbon the substituent is attached to. So this intermediate gains special stability because the substituent stabilizes the resonance structure. Therefore, the intermediate is formed faster and substituents that are electron donating direct to the ortho and para positions. But wait, there's more. Some substituents have a lone pair of electrons that can be shared by resonance. So a fourth resonance form is possible when there's an electron pair that can be donated and this special resonance structure looks like this with a positive charge on the substituent for the ortho position and for substitution at the para position that special resonance structure looks like this. That's why that methoxy substituent that I showed you is much more ring activating than the methyl group.
The resonance stabilization is particularly important because in this resonance form, every atom has to fill out or shell. So there's an extra resonance form and it's especially good resonance form. And for that reason, substituents that have a lone pair of electrons that are unshared, available for resonance, can form a fourth resonance structure and those compounds react much faster. On the other hand, for the meta substitution, that fourth resonance form isn't possible. And in any case, a stabilizing effect is seriously diminished because the substituent isn't attached to the carbon that bears a positive charge. So the take home is when the substituent is electron donating, that substituent directs substitution to the ortho and para positions. Now notice I'm saying ortho and para. The ratios may change a bit from compound to compound, but the facts are that both ortho and para products are formed in significant amounts of each. Now let's take a look at the intermediate when the substituent is electron withdrawing. What changes? Well, it's evident, isn't it? When the substituent is electron withdrawing, there's already a partial positive charge on this carbon. And a resonance structure that also puts positive ch charge on this carbon is not very stable. So this contributes little to stabilization. And the same thing is true for the para substitution. So for electron withdrawing substituents, substitution at the ortho and para positions is especially bad because one of the resonance forms of the intermediate contributes little to stabilization. On the other hand, for meta substitution, because there's never a positive charge on the carbon that the substituent is attached to, the fact that it's electron withdrawing doesn't mean as much. And all of these resonance structures are stabilizing. And it turns out then that the meta product is formed faster. It's more stable, so it's formed faster. Now, did something occur to you? The meta directors, as they're called, these substituents that favor substitution at the meta position, the meta directors are all electron withdrawing substituents. So meta substitution is always slower than benzene. The formation of meta products is favored, but the reaction is slower compared to the rates of benzene. So take a look at this table. This box shows the list of common orthopara directors. Both alkyl groups and aryl groups are electron donating by induction. All of these other groups have a lone pair of electrons on the heteroatom that can be shared with the ring to stabilize the carbocation intermediate that's formed. All of the groups shown in this bottom box withdraw electron density, and it's especially effective when the electrophile adds to the ortho or para position, making them particularly slow in favoring the meta position. I want to make one last comment. Although these categories of orthoparic directors and meta directors look a lot like the categories we made when we considered the effect of substituents on the rates of electrophilic aromatic substitution, these groups are not identical. The halogens, shown over to the right as orthoparic directors, turn out to be ring deactivators. So when we talk about the effects on the rate of reaction, they need to go in a special box. But as far as orthopara and meta direction goes, these two categories summarize what you need to know about the common substituents.